Hey guys, welcome back. The motor is out of the car. Here she is. So, taking it apart. I've already taken the intake manifold off, which is over here. The garage is a tip. Sorry, we're just removing shit out for Christmas. Um, I cleaned everything out of the intake manifold. There was just dirt and shit all through it. Um, the map, I might try and, I might have the photos still. I'll, I'll attach them here somewhere and you can see them. But the map, the map sensor at the back of the manifold was like filthy. The intake manifold itself was filthy as like mud and stuff. I think you would have seen on the last um, video, like all the mud under there. <sighs> The block, uh, I've cleaned some of the mud off, but you can sort of see like how grubby. It is really bad. I took my injectors to Brisbane Fuel Injection Servicing at, uh, where is he? It's like Jibung, Nunda, Albion, around there somewhere in Brisbane here. Uh, the guy's name's Jay, he's really good. He's awesome, gave me a mad, mad deal. And I bought some Raceworks fittings from him and stuff like that. He's got the whole shop full of everything. Also sells Haltech gear and all that, so. I was gonna buy bigger injectors, but I just thought, what am I doing? Like, I've only got a cam that the cam I've got will suffice this until we do something else. So, we'll just, I really wanted to see if the injectors were the problem. Like, might be able to put the video in here. One of them was like jetting more than the others. They weren't too much out of like um, sync with the amount of fuel they're putting out, but sort of different patterns and stuff like that. Anyway, I've got all my stuff now. I've got my camshaft, I've got all the um, gaskets. Rebuild kits, uh, lifters, fuel rails, all that stuff. Uh, let's take the heads off. Let's do it. Yeah, that's so cool. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, they're pretty good. All right, I've undone one side head. I'm just gonna take this gasket off. Take this gasket off now. Uh, I don't know, like, I've got a bit of coolant like splashed in the cylinder, like it was taken off. I don't know if it's a big deal. I'm probably gonna drop the bottom and drop the oil and stuff anyway, but they look alright. Let's get close into them. Alright, we're making progress. You know those days where you're like, you should have cleaned before you started and then it's cleaned again? It's just stuff everywhere, right? Eh? So, Get the heads off, boom, boom, boom. It's looking good inside. I don't know anything about engines at all. So like, like I've said before, like I'm an electrician. Um, I just really enjoy cars and stuff like that and I like tinkering with things. So um, I'll have a bit of a look at the block now. See some coolant just dropped in there when I took the heads off. Bit of mud and stuff, this is all. This is the old head gasket, so I can't see like any compression problems. I didn't check the compression like when I took it off, but it did look like there was some oil and stuff like just leaking out of a few spots, so rip them off now. I need to do some do a YouTube apprenticeship on cleaning blocks and and heads because I actually started with the razor. <laughs> with the old painting razor and I was like, oh I'll just give it a little bit of a but then like when I was doing it in, in my head something to scream like this is an aluminium block like don't scratch it and, like, looks like there's probably some scratches already but it'll probably be alright um, I'm going to keep tearing it down and we'll have a look at these heads you can see the dirt and mud that was around them it's actually good it's a bit lower now so I can fit, it un fit the LS under my bench um, I usually cling wrap motors up, like a cling wrapped uh, old motor up, but some, one, some engine builders tell me if you leave them for like a long time and get like condensation and stuff and that, so maybe tell me what you think about that because I'm going to probably just throw this video straight out and then I'll probably be next weekend I'll be doing this uh, or hopefully putting it back together, but I'm not sure. I'm not, just, I'm not sure if I said it, but I'm not taking the bottom end apart. Just leave it as it is, that's just too complicated for me. Like. I'll have a few mates have a look in there. The walls and that look alright, but we'll just, we'll just see. So this is all my lifters and push rods. Um, apparently I've got, I got LS7 lifters. Apparently the push rods should be fine, but we'll check them as we go in. Um, but yeah, I'm just keen as to give this all a clean up as well. Because then as I run it, I'll, I'll know I can open 
the, the lifter covers, the tapper covers, and all that sort of stuff. I can lift it off and just see what it's like. It looks like. I might put another photo in of the the top cover off. It's uh, there's quite a lot of. It looks like it's either been overheating or like just no oil changes. Which I know the guy before me had did heaps of oil changes, and by heaps I mean he raced this car, so it was like every time he raced. So I don't know. He was obviously giving it a hard time, but he obviously said that he looked after it as well and I trust that he said that because it's a pretty good dude. So um look at clean all this up now. Um see what else we get in this episode. Alright. Peace. Welcome back. It's a few days later now. Probably like three, four days later when I took it. So it's now Thursday before Christmas. I'm off now, even though I've been running around all morning. The LS, I finished taking it apart. I borrowed a big boy looking talk dog from work. So I'll just undo the harmonic balancer. It's never been undone before. So I'll hit that. Um, maybe loosen some of these covers off. Um, and then we'll wrap this video up, but I've got stuff back. You can see it here already. So I took my heads off. The heads have been off as you saw just before and I've taken them to Wynnum uh, reconditioning, en engine reconditioning, and they had them back to me in a day, 24 hours. I dropped them off there in the Arvo and the next day they had them. Um, they knew I really wanted it done before Chrissy, so good on them for there. Totally recommend them. For the two heads, it was like 275 bucks. Uh, just to skim them and then it was like another hundred to wash both of them so i got them washed as well got a lot of the carbon and stuff out of it so let's take this off now and then we'll wrap this video up and then i'm going straight in i'm starting to do the rebuild now so let's hit this now i'm, I'm lying to you guys i actually did just undo this because i couldn't get it undone and then i changed it to the big boy setting so it's already undone so this is an 888 or 880 newton meter dog impact driver so that <coughs> on the second setting he didn't get it off but on the third setting fucking sent it to the moon eh <whistles> don't think that's ever been out before how's the size of the threads on these things <coughs> all right let's get the jaw on there and see if we can pop this harmonic balancer out then we'll undo these check out it inside so i ginned around with my jaw puller for the harmonic balancer don't buy one of these jar <laughs> I just know that I've known that crap. Like I've used it quite a bit. And it's so garbage, but a good one. But um, basically, I got that out, and I turned the bolt around, and just basically set it up like this. And that's pushed now. I still needed the torque gun to to bring it out. So it started to come off a bit. And I now need to jig something else up to make that happen. Still, this thing's gross. Fucking, it's not been looked after at all. Mate. Maybe you hit me up in the comments. Like, is this is this pretty normal? Like, I know LS is like cheap, get abused and stuff like that, and they love a bit of it. There's just so much garbage on the inside. There's an estimate about two hundred thousand Ks on this motor. Yeah, it's, um, I'm not sure if it should be this dirty inside. So I'm going to ask a few few mates and stuff like that and then see how we go. So I'm going to look at... I'm probably going to wait to do this camshaft. I know you're all going like, oh, Sparky, don't touch it. I'm probably going to wait for my mate Matt to do this camshaft together just so we can get the timing. It is pretty straightforward. You can see like these little dots and then there's one on the crankshaft, which I'll rotate in a second and have a look. And you just got to line them up and that's zero. And then, then you can start playing with the crank, uh, with the camshaft and stuff like that. But... I've also got the girdle for the oil pickup because these pickups have like just, there's no bolt here. It's just like a teardrop style and it's just one bolt and I was always worried about it. So I bought this little girdle now that comes and does like, does both sides. <coughs> I, do have a, I do have it somewhere. Um, but I think today now I'm going to continue with the head gaskets, taking that stuff off. These are all clean to go. I just wanted to do, that was the noisy bit with the torque with the fucking impact gun like I can't do that at night I wake up the whole neighborhood so I'll probably put that cover back on now just loosely and then go with the heads and we'll 
start putting the lifters and everything back in and in the next episode so which i'm filming now i told you like subscribe catch you later